The People's Social Forum and the People's University are hugely important grassroots democratic events where you know you get so many people um, from diverse backgrounds coming together to discuss ideas um, and discuss you know some of the, the huge important problems that we're that we're facing as a country and as a society um, and I think events like the People's University are especially important right now when uh, it's becoming increasingly hard to get information that is really um, sort of unbiased and unfettered. You know, we're seeing increasing corporate co corporate control over our media and, and even influencing universities. Um, so events like that where, you know, you can really bring speakers in and bring people in and, and sort of hear from them directly without it without it going through through other filters um, is a really is a really great opportunity. At the at the federal level, especially, but you know, also in a lot of provincial governments, we're really seeing um, further government control of you know really the message in general. And um, scientific information is is sort of falling falling under that and getting getting sort of caught in that issue. Um, you know, it sort of it makes sense. The government has been very clear that they want you know complete message control. They've been very clear that they have policy mandates that they want to achieve, like making Canada an energy superpower. Um, so I think they see a lot of the, the research that's being done, um, especially climate science and environmental monitoring and environmental science, as being potentially you know, problematic and, and causing problems for that, that policy mandate that they, that they want to implement. So, you know, they've thought, okay, it's easier if we just, um, you know, censor it, essentially. And so I think that's why we've really seen this, um, you know, increasing um, restriction on government scientists' ability to communicate their research to the media and to the public. Um, the problem, of course, is that, you know, it really um, is, is eroding our democracy and government transparency and accountability. Um, the way I see it is this is research that is paid for by taxpayers. So it's, you know, we pay for these, we pay the salary of these scientists, we pay for the research materials, so that is our, our information. And the government really doesn't have any right to withhold that 